friends welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well today we're going to be getting into this barbie inspired glam i'm so here for this entire look so if you want to see how i got it definitely make sure to keep on watching so we're going to be getting into the movie giving you guys my thoughts and also giving you guys all of the details for this look don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that we get notified anytime that i make a new upload so first things first you guys all know that i like to do hair first and then makeup afterward i do have a new wig that i'm going to be installing for for this look. I definitely wanted to go blonde for this Barbie inspired look. So the hair that I'm wearing is from Ashi Mary Hair Company. Thank you so much them for sponsoring today's video, sending over this blonde unit. I am super in love with this wig. It's just the perfect blonde for like a Barbie inspired look. And I just love the fact that this blonde isn't like full 613 blonde. I feel like the hair is more of like a light brown type of color and it has like just these really beautiful light blonde highlights. As always, I'm gonna put all of the information for this unit down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, want to check it out, definitely make sure to check the description box to a link for the exact wig that I'm wearing. Anyways, so as always, I'm going to go ahead and install this unit using my favorite lace adhesive from Ebon, this Freem Hold lace adhesive. I'm not going to get too much into like the install process because it's pretty much same old, same old. You guys already know that the Ebon lace adhesive is my fave. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay this lace down and then we'll get into styling. Yeah, so let me go ahead and give you guys my thoughts about the Barbie movie because I thought it was such a cute little film. I definitely recommend going to see it with like a group of friends. That's what I did. It was so much fun actually being at the movie theaters because everyone was like dressed in pink. <laughs> everyone was dressed in pink. It wasn't like called for or anything like that or like it was like planned, but like everybody at the movie theater was like because it was Barbie, like we all just kind of like intuitively knew to come through with the pink. I wore a red dress because my my pink wardrobe is very limited. I don't really have a lot of pink clothes, but I felt like the next closest color would be red. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and wear my red dress and everything. But I still came in with like hair done, makeup done. So still Barbie-ish in a way with my glam and everything. And it was, just, it was just such a fun time just watching everybody kind of like dress up in their cute outfits. So yes, walking into the movie theater was so much fun. Definitely go with some friends. It's a really good time. And then on top of that, the movie was also super cute. I really loved it. It had a lot of like super funny moments, but I think like it's also one of those movies that can start a lot of conversation. You know, there's a lot of like topics, especially when it comes to misogyny, the patriarchy. There's a lot of like conversations that can be had, you know, after watching that movie. Because it's definitely something that I did. Like I've been talking to people a lot about this movie and having some really interesting conversations and just kind of like seeing everybody's perspectives has been super interesting. So I think it was especially interesting talking about the film with my brother. My brother has like a really interesting perspective in that he grew up with my with me and my other two sisters. My mom raised us pretty much like a single mother. So he was surrounded by women like as a child. <laughs> so like as an adult man, like he's very much like an ally when it comes to women. Hearing his kind of like perspective about the movie and just talking to him about it was definitely like the most interesting for sure. Trying to explain to him that he definitely wants to be an Alan and not a Ken. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely go ahead 
and see the movie. It's a lot of fun. Even though there are moments in the film that are like super deep and kind of like introspective and everything like that, there are a lot of fun moments. So it balances out really nicely. Definitely references in there to other films that are really iconic. But yeah, definitely watch the movie. It's really good. I won't go too much into like detail about it because I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen the film. But if you have seen it, definitely let me know what you think about the Barbie movie in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys thoughts. I would probably give it like, hmm, what would my score be? I'd probably give it like a seven, uh, a seven out of 10. I think that's a fair score. I was definitely there like watching the movie, admiring all the outfits though, cause like, the outfits were super cute. <laughs> but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys thought of the film down below in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Anyways, back to the hair. So once I was done installing this wig, I did add like a couple of swoops in the edges, just like some soft swoops, nothing too crazy. I kind of wanted to keep the hairline like super chill. Um, and plus like the hair is blonde, so you won't be able to see too much like of the design when it comes to like doing edges on this wig anyway. I did do like my signature side part. You guys know how much I love a side part and added some really voluminous curls, some layers, and just kind of called it a day with that. Definitely lots of hairspray to keep those curls intact and everything and make sure that swoop bangs stays swooping. But yeah, I just love the way that this blonde looks. I definitely prefer this type of blonde over like just like a straight 613. The quality of the hair is amazing as well. It's super soft and very little shedding. And as you can see, like the lace on this wig just blended into the skin to perfection. So that's always a plus in my book. <laughs> But yeah, so that pretty much is it for the hair. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna leave all of the information for it down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, now that we're all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into the makeup. So of course we definitely wanna start off with the primer. I'm gonna be doing like my skin first and then I'll go ahead and do like the eye makeup afterward. I'm gonna prep the skin using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Such a good primer, definitely like an iconic one. If you're looking for a primer that's more has like a, like it's gonna like grip your foundation, this is a really good one. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is a good dupe to this one in my opinion. So yeah, definitely check out either one of these if you're looking for like a good gripping primer. Foundation is gonna be from NARS. This is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I think I'm using the shade Tahoe, but I'll make sure to put it down below in the description box with all of the other products that I use to create this look. Um, I love this foundation though, it's so good. And I just love the fact that it just makes the skin look super flawless without having like an overly matte feel. It definitely has more of like a satin type of finish. So you're still getting like that skin-like type of vibe, um, but it does have like like really great coverage as well. So I'm gonna apply that and then I'll go in with my concealer. Um, I'm gonna use two different concealers, but the first one is gonna be from Huda Beauty. This is their Full Filter Concealer in shade 6.3. I'm gonna apply that onto the under eyes and kind of use that as like my transition concealer, if you will. So it's definitely a little bit closer to my skin tone because I want like the under eyes to be like super full coverage. I'm trying to make my skin look super flawless because <laughs> that's the goal. We're trying to go for like a Barbie inspired look. So the skin's gotta be on point okay um but yeah so i'm definitely layering up with this concealer first and then i'll go in with a second concealer on top but a much smaller amount the second one is from nyx it's their can't stop won't stop concealer and as you guys can see it's definitely a lot brighter than the first one so i'm going to make sure to focus that on just the inner portion of the under eye where i really want that brightness to be um, and then i'll go ahead and blend that in to the skin using my little sponge there i think having like that first concealer there just makes that brighter concealer blend into the foundation and create like that more seamless transition between concealer and foundation. I'm then going to set all of that using some powder. You guys know how much I love my Chanel Natural Finish Loose Setting Powder, shade number 20. I... Oh, I just love how this powder just looks on top of a concealer on the on the under eyes. It just makes the skin look so, so flawless. I could literally rave all day about this powder because it's just that good. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. It's definitely a little bit more on the pricey side, but to me, it's so worth it. It makes the skin look beautiful. I'm only gonna use a light layer of this powder because I am gonna be baking. So um, this is just gonna act as like my first light set before I go in with my bake later. I'm then gonna set the rest of the face with a little bit a powder foundation from Fenty in shade number 370. I'm not going to use a ton of this powder. I just kind of want to tone 
tone down the shine of the skin a tad. So it's just gonna help tone that down as well as give the skin a little bit more coverage. Cause again, this is a very Barbie inspired look. So the skin's gotta be flawless, you know what I mean? So definitely gotta go in with just a tiny bit of powder foundation for that added bit of coverage. And then I'll use my bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury to bring back some warmth and dimension into the face. So I'm applying that bronzer on the forehead, the cheeks, as well as the nose. As I'm applying my bronzer, I'm also switching to my powder brush that I use to apply that Fenty powder and using that to kind of like soften any harsh edges because I really want that bronzer to blend like super flawlessly into the foundation. And that's another reason why I like to kind of go in with like a powder foundation too to set like my foundation because it definitely makes blending in my bronzer that much easier because I'm not applying my bronzer onto like a wet foundation. There's like a powder underneath it to kind of like soften the skin so it's a lot easier to blend in. But right after bronzer, I'll go in with my baking powder. This one's from Beauty Bakery. I've just been like in love with the flower powder all over again. It's definitely like an oldie but a goodie. It's just a really amazing powder to like bake with. This is in the shade Cassava, so it definitely has like a light yellow tint to it to give you like that added bit of brightness. So I'm gonna use that to snatch the sides of the nose and I'm also gonna apply that onto the bridge of the nose. So I'm almost done with skin. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush now. This one is from Huda Beauty. It's their vegan cheeky blush in the shade. I think this is in Charming Cherry. It definitely has like a pink tone to it, which is exactly what I wanted to go for. We definitely need some pink blush for this look. So I'm just gonna apply that onto the apples and just make sure to blend it in well into the bronzer. So I have like that nice smooth transition between bronzer and blush. Right after blush, I went off camera and did my brows and one eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this eye look and show you guys how I got it. I'm gonna prime first using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime eyeshadow base. This is my go-to eyeshadow primer. It's definitely one of those things that it's like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It literally <laughs> never does me wrong anytime I do like a colorful eye look. So um, I just kind of stick with this eyeshadow primer because it just works. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into shadows. I the, all the shadows that I'm going to be using for this look. All the shadows that I use for this look come from this palette from Be Bella Cosmetics. It's in collaboration with Must Be Cindy. First shade that I'm going to go into is the shade Humble. It's like a really cute like light beige and I'm going to pop this into the inner corner. I kind of wanted to just get the inner corner highlight out of the way because I already knew I was going to do like an inner corner wing. So I figured I'd just like get this particular part out of the way and just apply that first. So I'm using a fluffy brush to kind of like build that color on to the inner corner. The next shade that I used is called Full Time, which is like a warm toned brown. I pretty much place this color on like the inner portion of the brow bone to kind of meet with like the bronzer that I applied on the nose. I feel like it just kind of brings like the look together. So then we're gonna go into our pink eyeshadows. I'm gonna apply this on to the crease and on the outer corner using a small little fluffy brush. And then I'll also apply this particular shadow on the lash line, the lower and the upper lash line. So I'm gonna switch brushes and just apply that shadow there to kind of start building like that smoky look to the lash line that I really want. This is gonna be like the main color for this eye look. So I definitely wanna make sure it's like super well blended and everything. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Must Bees. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I'm gonna use this to um, blend in the edges of that shade Influencer. So I'm gonna go in with a slightly larger like fluffy brush to soften those edges. If you feel like you're losing kind of like the pigment and intensity of your first shadow, Definitely go, don't be afraid to go in with like a little bit more as you're blending in those edges to re-intensify that hot pink. I am so sorry guys, I just realized I got these shade names all wrong. So the first one, first color that I used on the crease was actually that blush from Huda Beauty. So the same blush that I used on my cheeks, I used that for like my first um, crease color. The transition color is called Influencer and then this color that I'm applying onto the lid is called Must Bees. It's like a really light pink. But yeah, so I'm just gonna use that light pink as like my lid shadow. I'm gonna apply that using a flat shader brush. Again, I'm just gonna go back in with my crease brush to blend out the edges so everything is nice and soft. 
Then going back in with that shade of Double Life and a little bit of that black eyeshadow in the corner there, kind of mix those two colors together to start smoking out the lash line. So I'm going in with a much smaller brush this time to start smoking that out. I'm also gonna apply this onto the lower lash line and use this to create my inner corner wing. And I think that's pretty much it for eyeshadows. I don't think I did too much else there. So I'm gonna go in with my um, eye pencil from Melt Cosmetics. This is their waterline eye pencil in the shade Apricot Cream and use that to brighten up the waterline. I'm then gonna go in with a bit of mascara from Il Maquillage and just pop on my lashes. And that'll be it for the eyes. I love the way that this look came together. It's so cute. I'm gonna pop on some highlighter next from Rare Beauty. This is their um, positive light highlighter in shade Flaunt. It's like a really pretty like soft gold. I'm gonna add that to the bridge of the nose and I'm also gonna add a little bit onto the brow bone. Nothing too crazy, but I thought like a glow on the brow bone would be like a really cute look. And then finally, I'm just gonna get this lip combo going. I'm gonna line first using a lip pencil from Melt Cosmetics. This one is in shade Caffeine. It's just like a nice cute like warm tones, like dark brown. So I feel like any dark brown lip pencil could work. And then I'll start applying my lip colors. I did use a mixture of two. The first one that I used was from Kylie Cosmetics. She launched like some mattes and cream lipsticks recently. So I went in with like a pinky tones lipstick, but the lipstick wasn't like kind of giving me the look that I was going for. So I added a lighter nude lipstick from About Face on the center of the lips. And then I decided that I wanted to add a gloss. <laughs> My mind was all over the place with this lip combo. Um, but yeah, so then I decided that I wanted to add a gloss. So I went in with like a cute, like a nude pink gloss from NYX Cosmetics. This is their butter gloss in the shade Tiramisu. And then to finish up this look, I'm going to set the face using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Spray. And that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the look down below in the comments and as well as your thoughts on the movie as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this one brought you some inspiration. Sending lots of love to you all, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.